Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm going to talk you through how to install specifically Pokemon VR onto your Quest 2 headset, like this one here, like mine. I've been getting a fair few comments on my Pokemon VR video and uh, the shorts that I've put out after the fact of people asking me how to install it. Now, I feel like I've made this kind of video about SideQuest and side loading apps before, but just due to the amount of comments I'm getting, I have decided that I'm going to make an entire video how to do this right now this is just the way that i have done it in the past uh according to the sidequest website there is also a, a new easy installer where you can sort of install sidequest directly onto your headset uh, i may touch on that in a different video but for this video we're going to work on the pc tutorial uh, and how to install pokemon vr or any other you know sideload apk file uh vr games onto your headset using a pc few things you're going to need you're obviously going to need your quest headset you're going to need a smartphone uh you're going to need a pc of some sort it doesn't have to be like a gaming pc uh it's fine you're not going to run the game off the pc uh we're just using a computer whether it be a laptop etc uh, to install the game onto the headset you are also going to need a usb c cable to connect your headset to the pc of some sort uh, i'm using the like the official oculus um cable like the one that you use for for running pc vr games as well i think you should be able to use any other USB C cable but it, it it might depend you might have to have a specifically good cable not just like a really crappy one i don't know so we, we will see i will try using a different cable uh, as well so but for the main part of the tutorial i'm just going to use the official oculus cable also links will be in the description to any part of websites and stuff that you need so that you should be able to follow this tutorial i'm not really a tutorial kind of doing person so hopefully this makes some sense also it has been a while since i set this up myself so if i am incorrect about anything then i apologize what we're going to need to start with is we're going to need to go to sidequestvr.com uh, again link will be in the description and we'll go to the get side quest uh, part up top so this is how we download side quest which is what we're going to use to install the apk which is the file type of pokemon vr onto the headset uh, also side quest has a bunch of different games on it that are really easy to install so it's a it's a great thing to have if you do have one of these meta quest oculus quest 2 headsets we're going to ignore the easy installer because that's not what we're doing today we're doing the pc version and we're going to go down here and download your appropriate uh side quest thing i have also done a video on the mobile download so if you want to go check that out that is in a different video so go check that out over on the different video i'll put a link to that video as well step one we've got to download it we've got to create an account so you you download it you create your account here you do basically as the website says sidequest is very good and they have a really good explanation of how to do most of these things so we're just going to sort of follow along with them next thing you've got to do is you have to create an organization now i remember doing this a long time ago when i first set it up and it was sort of annoyingly weird and confusing but you have to do this so there is a website developer.oculus.com sign up so you go to here on your pc and you can create a, you sign up to be an oculus developer now it doesn't actually mean you actually have to develop anything you don't have to pay for anything it's just a thing you have to do so uh, as you can see from these screenshots this is how you do it so you create the organization and you'll be asked to accept the developer agreement so you have to accept that and then you need to verify uh, using a credit card or a phone number so set up that do as it says uh, and then most accounts will be verified. So that's all good. Get yourself verified, get yourself an Oculus developer account, get that sorted, uh, get yourself this organization set up. Then you'll be able to use developer mode, which is what we need to use here. So uh, you're gonna need to have the Oculus app on your smartphone. Uh, and now that you're a developer, you'll be able to do exactly this. So you uh, select your headset, uh, which connects via Bluetooth to your phone. So make sure you have Bluetooth on, uh, detect your, it should pick up your headset and detect it. Uh, and then you can connect your headset to your phone via the oculus app that's how we do that then once you've got that you'll be able to go into the headset settings uh, and you'll be able to go into developer mode and enable developer mode which is what we need and it's the reason we have to go through and set up that organization stuff that we just did once you've done that reboot the headset uh, and make sure that it's it's all working fine you should be able to go actually in your headset into the settings and you'll be able to see like developer mode options there so you should be able to see that in the headset once you've rebooted it next up step four okay what we need to do is we need to connect via usb cable uh and enable the debugging so this will pop up in the headset and you need to accept it uh, that's all you need to do it's fine it does say here that you can use the oculus the like the charging cable that's also a good point i didn't even think of that you can probably use the oculus charging cable 
uh, to to do this. So if you don't have like the Oculus Link cable, you can use the charging cable. That is it. That is you done. That's that's the setup of SideQuest. Now that is the most complicated part of this. The rest of this is very very simple. So we're going to go over to my uh, SideQuest, and you can see here uh, when your headset is connected and you've accepted the debugging and stuff, you should get this at the top. So it says uh, it's got a little green. Uh, circle to say it's connected and it should say uh, that and then it's got an IP address which I will blur out because you guys don't need to know that but yeah it should be connected uh, if you haven't accepted the debugging it will be like a little orange circle and it will say that you have to accept the debugging uh, in the headset so just make sure you do that okie dokie right so that's all set up this is how it works uh, like I said you can install a bunch of these games if you want but that's not what we're doing today we're talking about installing a game uh, that is not on SideQuest you're sort of side loading it via side quest so pokemon vr the way to get that currently is you have to join the discord server so uh again there will be a link to the discord server but we're going to jump over there now the discord server is called pokemon vr that's what it's called uh then you'll want to uh you'll want to join this and accept any rules and stuff that they make you accept uh so that you can access it then go to downloads you want to go to the downloads uh, section of the discord again very simple it does do a really good job of explaining it uh, the download links are here like i said you're gonna have to join the discord because i don't want to put these i don't want to share these links these links are available via the discord so i'm not going to post the link to download it in the description i'm going to post the link to the discord which you'll have to join in order to download it okay that makes sense i don't want to get myself in any trouble uh posting this link because obviously uh pokemon vr is not an official pokemon product and so there could be some backlash from nintendo in future but let's hope not a couple of options but as we're talking about the quest we're going to go for the quest option so uh you've got a couple of options here you download from here or you can download from the google drive that they have here um either way whichever works best for you but download the apk file you'll have that file then on your pc and then we go back to side quest it does actually explain again everything here that you'll need to do but i'll i'll explain it myself once you've got the download uh shall i just download it myself let's do that we want to go up here to the top right and you'll see this little box with a down arrow and if you hover over it it says install apk file from folder on computer uh, here we go. This is Pokemon VR 1.5. This is the one that I have. So you'll find your APK file and you'll want to select that APK. This one here. You'll want to select that uh, and, and click on it. And then basically you just let that install. It will install it onto your headset. It'll tell you in the running tasks area that it is completed. A little green bar should pop up at the bottom as well to say that it's been completed. So that's all you need to do. That's it. That's all it is. That's how you install Pokemon VR onto your Quest headset. It's that simple. Like I said, the hardest part is setting up side quest. Not hardest, but most complicated part. Uh, hopefully I went through that uh, in enough detail for you guys. It's not too difficult to follow the instructions to get done. But yeah, you'll need a few things. Uh, like I said, let's check if we can use a different cable. Because we may as well check if we can use a different cable. So if I just... I currently have it plugged in, like I said, via the, uh, the original quest cable. So I'll unplug that. And you'll see in the top that... It's actually gone red and it's not connected. Uh, I happen to have a little USB cable here. I've got a little blue, just a phone charging USB-C cable. Uh, it's just a normal USB-C cable. So I will plug this in uh, and you can see that that's worked as well. So you should be okay with pretty much any USB-C cable uh, in this circumstance. Like I said, you could use the charging cable that came with the headset anyway. So there you go. If you guys would like to see me take a look and see how we can install SideQuest directly onto the headset, it's not something I've tried, uh, but it, it does seem like a very useful thing to have. You don't have to keep plugging your headset into a PC every time to install a game. So if you guys would like to see a video based on that, uh, please do let me know in the comments and I will take a look at it and I'll do a tutorial on how to do that and I'll do it along with you so that it's new to me and I'm doing it as I go along. Obviously this is something that I installed a long time ago so it has been a while since I've had to do any of that uh, creating an organization developer mode stuff but I uh, hope this video has been helpful and I will see you guys next time.